Hey everybody! Hey everybody! Welcome back to our channel. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Heart Treasures, and we are resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Three homers of stuff. We didn't go to Bennett. Last video, we said we were going to go to Bennett. Not Bennett. No, 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 no. Um, we didn't go to the small town. We didn't we were go to the small go town. To. We said we were going to go to. Instead, we went to. There, we found out there's like six neighborhood garage sales in town here. So we thought, you know what? Let's get up and do it again here. Yeah. And we were really glad that we did. We found some awesome stuff. Let's show them. And we went, the first place we went was like a very nice, like nice neighborhood with money. And wow, that was worth it. That was fun. So we found lots of things. Uh, we're just going to talk about a couple things as we, as we uh, go through this and show you what we got. We spent a total of $291 today. Yes. And we're going to show you and try to remember to tell you what we paid for each item. And I'm going to try to pop up comps for a lot of these things oh, this time okay. because I'll have more time. Yeah. Because the last video I was in a hurry and... Yeah, let's I had to get it done. Ready? Let's go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. What's different about Donna? Woohoo! I got my spectacles on. <laughs> She's got her spectacles on. It's the first time I've had progressives. Progressive lenses ever, ever, ever. So I can look at the TV and I can look at the clock and I can look at my paper and not have to move my head. It's yeah. so cool. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so get used to it because yeah. uh, she's going to be like this a lot more, just like me. Just like you. All right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> so $291 consists of these boxes back here. Do not count. It's all of this up until those white there. shoes right there. So okay. this is what we bought. Donna, you guys, let's get us started. I want to show you this. Some of the bigger channels um, have a map like this and they mark it off when they ship to a state, I think, or ship to a capital or something like that. So anyway, we found this today and we thought it might be fun to color in when we ship to the state. So yep. I hope you can see it okay. Yeah, we're we gonna do it. this. Yeah, we're gonna put the date in the corner. Down here. We're gonna put the date in the corner that we start. And then as we ship, we're gonna, anytime we have a new state, we'll make sure we get that on film to ship it. Hold but, on, uh, you can see it better. Oh, she's gonna take it out of the plastic. You sure can see it better without without a glare. Now there you, you go. Now it. you can see it better. So yeah, we can even the little ones they have where you can color in each state. So once we start doing this soon, anytime we'll color it in. We're gonna see how long it takes us to get to all fifty states. Yeah, well that be fun. Yes, I think it'll be fun. Okay. We paid up a little bit for it. That was at like the first, was it was at the first sale? The first, second, second sale. sale that we went to, and it was eight bucks, but Donna was so excited about doing that, and I'm like, okay, let's do it. As if Donna's ever excited. Like, yeah. look what I found, you guys. <laughs> I found sunflowers. Donna was excited at a oh lot of sales this time. Oh my time. goodness. Woo woo. Found sunflowers, and then, oh. But what was the irony of the flowers? Oh, you guys. So, if you've been a long time viewer, if you've been a long time viewer, we had a clean out that we helped with with a new friend we had met, um, Christy. Christy and, and we helped her do a garage sale like two years ago. Yeah, we helped her do a garage sale about two years ago. And so we followed these signs this year. We followed the signs in and we're like, this looks familiar. And we're like, wouldn't it be funny if it was the same house? Christy, it was the same house and she had sunflowers as a sign. So, anyway, met the people that live there now and you're old that in the house of your aunt and um neat little couple and they had a brand new baby and it was so sweet yeah. so so anyway these are fun. these are not real obviously <clears throat> these are fake you can bend the wire the stems there's wires in them so donna they're can real get beautiful they're really beautiful all right here we go donna ready what did we find do you want to start with this uh sure we could okay. so we found this steve and i both used to work at pepsi's this is a Pepsi brand remote control car. It's a T Bird from Smokey and the Bandit. Yeah. Uh, T Bird. Um, Firebird. Firebird, yes. And he said it works. I see the end of the, ant the antenna might be broke off. It is, but uh, I paid $30 just. I paid up for it. But there's one listed and there's four sold and they sell for about $80. $80. So I picked that up. Okay. And then, here we go, ready? We got these. Now, I'm gonna tell you something about this. If these shoes, Donna looked, said, look at these, and she was like, ah, no, they don't feel great. If these shoes would have been in any other neighborhood, I would have said, no, don't pick them up. 
but in the neighborhood they were in um they're kurt geiger never heard of it but they're actually worth i think brand new they're like 80 bucks or yep, so so we did and they they look like the i mean maybe they have worn some scuffing once. on one of the toes oh so yeah a tiny bit that we they get have that scuffing, off but yep but yeah so that was five dollars we spent looked at these roller skates they always say on roller skates and skateboards check the wheels see how they spin and these do not spin all that good but yeah they do I, they spin that's the way they're supposed to no good wheels spin and spin and spin and spin and they just oh. keep going um but i looked up this brand and this brand is actually really good so ten dollars and i'm not sure what we'll get but i'll pop up the comp camelback i always pass up camelbacks because they're always nasty and the little the little straw piece is always gross and nasty and this thing um. Looks like it's never been used. The whole thing is in excellent condition. I don't see any stains or nothing. So I picked it up because it was only two dollars. So two dollars. Didn't look it up or nothing. These were at the same sale as the black one, and they were only one dollar. They're Jessica Simpson, which means they're not great, but for one dollar, I mean, come on, who doesn't want a fun pair of shoes like that? And then. Oh yeah, I got these. I paid up, paid a little bit up. Your daughter's gonna oh, hold on. want those bad, but she won't they're, fit in not them. they're her too size. small. These are some Jordans, and I paid forty dollars for these, and these should sell like eighty to a hundred dollars. The other um, shoes, laces are in here. Okay, so yeah, I paid forty bucks for those. I always like finding fun Jordans. I don't like paying up that much, but I think they will do great. Yes. At the same sale, of course. Here's a Bose earbuds. And I paid five dollars for those. Didn't look them up or anything, but I literally lost my earbuds. And when we did a podcast, I had to find some cheapy earbuds. So I might just keep those for five bucks. Oh, nice. Okay, we got fun story here. Or silver box right there. I'm gonna tell a little story. Okay, we were walking at the second sale, and we walked by a table, and Donna like blocks me out, and I thought she was blocking me out because there were these silver boxes, two of them. Like and this, and were. I thought they were golf balls, and I thought she was saying, Oh no, golf stuff. And so I looked and I said, Well, they're not golf balls. And the guy's like, Hey, that's a really good deal. Do you have any daughters that are in swim? And I'm like, What? And they're uh, Speedo LZR Racer Pro sw swimming suits. And he says, I said, Well, no. And he goes, That's a really good deal, only a dollar a piece. Those things are like $80, $90. And I'm like, Huh. And there was another guy there, and at the sale before, he had bought, bought a box of uh, blank cassettes, and he started kind of sliding over. Like, he was a reseller also. He was kind of sliding over and looked like he was going to get it. And so I grabbed him. I'm like, yeah, actually, I'll take him. <laughs> and he kind of looks at me, and I'm just like, you know, whatever. So and the guy's like, yeah, you can give them. If you got somebody, you can give them to or you can sell them on eBay. That's a really great deal. Paid a dollar a piece. Have not looked them up. I don't know if there's much of a market. I don't know if they're used. I don't know nothing but for a dollar a piece. I'll give anything a shot. That same sale you got. I don't know nothing about these. Series but of unfortunate events, a whole set for a buck. Yep, a dollar. I thought that's probably a good, good deal there. And then you got the table oh, pole. <laughs> it was same sale. The guy just wanted to get rid of stuff. You know, all these train pieces and there's tracks and buildings and it's all kind of mismatched mismatch. and used. And there's a bag full of stuff. Yeah. Another train car. And he's like, you take well all the train as... stuff for a dollar. And I'm like, well, he goes, well, what all do you want? And there was this little precision screwdriver set that I could use, actually. And there's an impact wrench and stuff. And I said, well, how much for the entire tabletop? And he's like, five bucks, you take it all. And so five dollars, I got all this stuff. There's a gauge crossover. I don't even know what that is. He um, got all this stuff, all this stuff, and all this stuff. And that other little box. Yeah, this one has like engine parts and stuff in it. So he did ask me for $3 for this one. It's got some engines in it. And so I said, okay, I don't know nothing about it, but I thought for the what we were given for it, I think it was a good deal. All right, and then here's your watches. Oh goodness, I don't know what I did here. Okay, then we have this box of watches. Look at all these watches, guys. And there are some cool, cool watches. There's one, that looks like a Mary Engelbright, but probably yeah, not. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh -huh. And there's one too. We have there's a bird flamingo. one, a flamingo one. There's there's some really cool. There's a sunflower one. Look at that. The Donna War watches. Look at that. And look at that one. The flowers. The peach one. Yeah. And some really then we cool, also cool got... watches. And there's a Flintstone watch. I don't know if you can see that. And there's a Pooh, Pooh yeah. Bear watch. 
And so I got all these watches. There was 30, 40, wasn't There's there 40? 40 42 and then we watches added those. for $35. And then I added a bag of brooches, a bracelet, another bag of brooches, and another bag of brooches, and all that was 40. Yeah, forty dollars for this entire box. So we didn't look any. We don't know nothing, but there's a lot here, and I think we'll do. I would think we'll do very well on this. So, yeah, a bunch of watches. Okay, then Donna, what do you got? I have a whole thing of teacup, and they were teacup and saucer for a dollar, and they are just really, really beautiful. And they're all different. It's they're not all just beautiful. this one. She had a whole bunch and Donna picked out the ones that she liked matching cups and saucers. Yeah, so I know I'll make money on that because um, we just sold a bunch of teacups like that. Yeah, funny story there. That was right after the watch buy and she had a, a glass bowl of watches and it said $25 for all the watches. And I looked through it a little bit and there was two of them that I liked. And so I was like, I said, I know you got $25 for the whole bowl and there was about 15 watches in there and i said i just am interested in these two because it was like a bunch of junky watches i said i'm just interested in these two what would you do for just these two watches and she's like um tell you what they're all in that bowl i'll give you the whole bowl for 20 dollars." i said well i don't want the whole bowl she goes no nah, take the whole bowl for 20 dollars, and then it'll be your problem i'm like okay she was not splitting it up so i did not get them but fun story then we got all of these we've had good luck with calico critters before and it's a whole bunch of little books it's and a there's school. a bookshelf it's a school in set. there school yeah. set yeah for little critters so or calico critters so we got she that paid eight dollars for, for eight that. we'll part that out should do okay on that three dollars for a hundred shopkins cool and then I got this entire box for a dollar, and I have no idea what's in there, but there is California raisins. Is there the actual raisins? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Like raisins. Never mind. Bad joke. Like old food. Oh, no. <laughs> this little thing I thought looked really cool. But this whole box of stuff, set of books, there's some more raisins. Uh, yeah. Oh, you meant fruit snack raisins. Are they the real raisins? No, they're in the yeah. sandwich. Okay. So that for a dollar. Booth time. Booth time. We got to get There's down to the booth and the get booth. some new, cha new shirts in the booth. Here's a new Moen shirt for myself and one to sell. And this is to sell 25 cents. It's pine. I'm pine. Everything's pine. 25 cents. And then these are little. Uh, lovey plushes and remember those are 14.99 12 to 14.99 and i just got him because i thought he was cute he was 25 cents okay. and then we got a purse for 50 cents cool purse it looks uh very original don't know nothing about it but for 25 cents you can't go wrong with that i don't know what that is was this oh is that a brand yeah wow q o g i r i guess or, yeah know. anyway 25, 25 cents you love 25 cent items we got these books for three bucks the whole stack didn't check them out they just looked interesting to me we got this sweet deaf leopard bag <laughs> 50 cents <laughs> and then this is another cute shirt probably the booth it's fine it's fine i'm fine everything is fine so it's either <laughs> pine pine or fine it's either pine or fine and mm. then that bag for three dollars yep and then personal use dorm shirt for myself and yep. then a fiesta salt and pepper which she just listed red ones so she can do the same listing with red with white that's right and i got this whole set for i believe two dollars it's a coffee tea and sugar uh set enameled painted enamel and then this is not a real plant but it's cute planter's pig got him for a dollar right it's for mickey <laughs> i got these for a dollar piece these are from um australia pretty cool lizards there and then I got a whole bag of My Little Ponies for a dollar. 
the big ones, the little ones. I got a whole family of four of these for 50 cents to go with your other little critters. But this is all part of the My Little Pony lot. I needed to change the battery. I didn't have the battery charged. Um, so I thought this was a good time to talk about our topic today. I forgot what our topic was. <laughs> exactly. We don't really have topics a lot, but today it's about just doing what you can do to oh, keep yeah. going, no when matter what. eBay slows down and dollar auction slows down and everything slows down and you're like, what do we do? Donna's been a bit of a panic mode lately, a little bit, and she's it's just really yeah. weird for her. I don't know if you call it panic mode as much as anxiety mode. In a bit of a what the heck eBay, we are listing a lot of things mode yeah. and it's really slow, but usually when we get back from vacation time we have a lot to pack this time we did not and so i'm like all right let's hurry up and let's list stuff because when we list stuff it sells yeah so we listed a bunch of stuff and not a whole lot sold so i'm like oh my goodness okay and we're not you know we know the end listing sell similar we don't we haven't done that for a long long time yeah we're not a consistent we don't list every single day I know some people do that as algorithm, blah, 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 but we've never had an issue like that. I mean, it goes up and down yeah. slower and faster, but we've always had a pretty good average maintaining sales. And lately in the last couple of weeks, it really hasn't done that, which is whatever. But what do you do? You know, the only yeah. thing you can do for sure is just keep, keep, keep doing, keep keeping on, keep listing, keep keeping things. on. Yeah. Keep listing things. And so that means we keep listing on eBay, but we also keep listing on dollar auction. And this is kind of a funny little issue to have, but usually we always have dollar auction stuff. But since I had that everything's a dollar garage sale and we got rid of all that stuff, I'm not finding a whole lot of dollar auction stuff to list. So hence we buy Yeah, if you're out stuff. garage selling, if you're a reseller and you do like mainly eBay and Macari, stuff like that, what you buy isn't what we buy isn't necessarily going to work for you because we have the dollar auction so us buying 25 yeah. and 50 cent items and dollar items some of this stuff is just for the dollar auction so yes. and if you don't have that it wouldn't make sense for you to purchase these things but for us it completely makes sense so yes just keep going i even went through i haven't put anything on promoted listings mm -hmm. for I don't know, at least six months because it didn't need to. Things have been selling good. And I the think new it's, things were selling good. I think good, it's yeah. kind of a crap deal anyway, you know. And so I even went in and promoted all our items up till the last 100 items and I promoted them at 7%. Some people do higher, some people do lower, some people don't promote, but that's what we do. We do 7%. Mm -hmm. And so I did promote like 300 or 250 or listings or something today. So we'll see if that helps out a little bit. But you know, the only thing that we know for sure that we can do when things are slow is to keep listing. Keep grinding, keep working, and sometimes diversify. <laughs> yeah. So what did I do? <clears throat> We've been watching, we told you our friend, um, Corey Grams yes. and Pops, he has a plant channel. And you guys, if you like plants and you want to learn how to propagate plants, <coughs> join him. And if, you like, if you like dogs, I'll give you one. Just saying. No, they're just saying hello. Daisy. All anyway, right. go to the channel. He's going to put Pops in. versus plants. Well, yeah, we shared yeah. it a couple we'll a couple share, of videos ago. but We'll share it again. Anyway, he talks about how to propagate, and he is working on getting lots of things propagated so that he can next year have, in, in the springtime, have plants to he sell. He actually just got a greenhouse like yesterday. A whole I haven't seen that for yet. Free. Oh my goodness. He, I have to watch yeah. it. So anyway, when you come across stuff like that on garage sales, like I'm going to show you in just a second, it's okay to branch out and try to do those things. At least that's what we tell Steve. So we got... You got... <laughs> we got... You got... This beautiful mother-in-law tongue plant. And there are so many sweet pieces to be able to propagate or start new plants from. So we are going to try our hand. I am going you. to try my <laughs> hand at this. So I got this. And then later. What did you pay for the plant? $5. Okay. Later in our search today, I found this. And so it's soil moist. And you mix it with dirt. And it 
helps with the water and whatnot. It still says sixteen ninety nine, brand new. Yep, and I got it for twenty five cents. Yep. And then this is Here comes our dog. seed starting Amen. mix. So we got this brick turns into dirt. Yep, that's our puppy dog. And then <laughs> all purpose plant food got this for fifty cents. So Daisy, Daisy that's enough. Anyway, I have tons and tons of coffee cups, and we are going to start some mother-in-law tongue in coffee cups, and cool. hopefully be able to have some of that ready to go, and uh, we'll kind of show you the process, hopefully. As we go. As it grows. You know, and some, something else, something, another example of something that we would buy that we would not recommend buying if you're just an online reseller, like right here, I bought two of these boogie boards. And they're used. I paid two dollars a piece. Um, they have the strap and everything on it. But I, I would. This is not eBay. I assume. I have not looked it up. But I assume a used one of these is not an eBay thing. But for dollar auction, it is literally the start of summer, and you know, what lake season is upon us. So I think I'm going to put these on dollar auction. I would, I would be shocked if I didn't make money on those. So that's something that normally wouldn't buy. Yeah. And so. On with the theme of buy for the booth because we need to restock our booth and for dollar auction we're going to show you some more things we got this hat for a dollar that'll be great in the booth we got these for a dollar these plushes they will work great in the booth as well now we will check these and make sure they're not like eBay worthy because some plushes yep. are definitely eBay worthy true um, then we got these barrettes and these are the I'm going to clean them up, but they are the tortoise shell barrettes that seem to be that seem to do well on eBay. Got a Tupperware for a dollar. Got those items for a dollar. Yeah, there's a ice cream sugar set and these little cool bowls. And they got a butterfly on the bottom. I'm not sure what they exactly are, but for a dollar, you know. And then supplies. We got these for 25 cents. This is what I use to record dollar auction sales in. So get your supplies cheaper at a garage sale when you can yep and then over here i got this one for a dollar snake repellent if this is online i think is like 10 12 dollars and then i got two boxes of snake be gone in each box there's two two pound bottles and i think i looked it up earlier i think each bottle is like 10 to 12 dollars we paid basically 250 a bottle five dollars a box so uh we can get rid sell those got a couple little <laughs> things here Found this Nintendo Game Boy, Super Mario Land. He had It was $3, so I did pass that up, obviously. And then we got this little, might have paid up for this, but it is a 925, but it is a like a Ford Mustang ring. I don't know if that's clear on there, but, but I told Donna before we left, I'm like, you know what, let's grab that ring. That's pretty cool. So uh, I might have a picture of it up, but it is a sterling silver. We got these two. I believe they are brass because you can see through there where they've been well somebody grind yeah you can see oh maybe it's just worn but yeah we think these are brass made in just india both of them uh 250 for the set then i found this booger he's from my garden but i kept opening the the back today thinking this was a snake look at that no. <laughs> so he's from my garden and then this of course is from my garden and then we bought this little set for two dollars and fifty cents and it is cabbage salt pepper shaker little bowl and then a covered dish here so cool yeah and, and then for the fourth time for the fourth time we have upgraded <laughs> our doggy fence so we just showed this, and this like a week ago we got this and it was shorter than the others well this is a good fence but all these hinges they snap and so it is kind of hard to move but it's a good fence it's not as tall and it's lighter weight well now today we've upgraded there's two separate wooden hinge sections much easier to move. one's a three panel one's a four panel paid five dollars a piece and we'll be yeah these are much easier to move they're heavy enough that they'll stay fine and they don't click yeah they don't snap so we're going to then sell so, this section this is and forty dollar fence yeah and we'll sell this on the dollar auction and we'll have our fourth fence <laughs> since we started doing that and then you forgot to mention your bat oh we got this bat this was at like the first or second sale too i didn't see any cracks or anything the handle is obviously needs rewrapped but it was one dollar guys Look at the back it's called black magic yeah it's an easton 
Easton Black Magic. It's upside down, but yeah. I don't know what it's worth, but for a dollar, you can't go wrong with that if there's no cracks, and I don't see any cracks. And the most important thing about today is we had ball. We had so much fun, didn't yeah, we? we did. Garage we had a lot of fun. Sales, and we were done by like 12, 15, we were eating lunch, and yep. we called it a day. Yep. So that was two days of we shopped hard like we went to a lot of sales and we got a lot of cool things these last two days but you know what we have to do now list picture list post yes Set now we sale. have to make our money so it's time for us to get listing so we're so, gonna get going on that i'm gonna leave steve to do that with all this stuff in the garage and i'm gonna go play with my plants <laughs> oh yeah yeah okay well you do what you got to do, woman. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I do want to get things on the dollar auction tonight, like that radio from the last video, stuff like that, these bigger things that I can yeah. move along. I want to get them on tonight. So we're going to do that. Probably takes the dogs for a walk. And we're actually not going to garage sale tomorrow. We're just going to stay home and work, and we're going to list, and yes. we're going to get a lot of stuff done. So anyway, I think that's about all I had. Do you have anything else? That's it. All right, we're going to wrap this up here. So thank you all for watching. We truly do appreciate all of you. Anything else? Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. All them things. So I am Steve. I'm Donna. We are Happy Art Treasures. And we'll see you. On the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>